Welcome to hornsupremacy.com and your first sounds video. We're going to talk about the first sounds you're ever going to make on your beautiful French horn. We're going to start with buzzing. We're going to talk about the embouchure, which is the muscles that we use uh, within the lips and around the lips uh, in order to make the perfect sound on your French horn. So, the goal of the buzz that we're going to create is to sound like a large bumblebee or like a really big fly. So, we're going to start with the syllable M. So, say the word M. And I know it sounds like really dorky, but try it with me right here at your computer, at your house, or on your phone. Right now. Here we go. M. Good. Say it maybe even like you're a little bit angry, like your little brother was looking at your French horn like he was going to smash it and you're not going to let him. Try it again. M. M. Do you feel the corners of your mouth kind of starting to set in that position? We like that. We want that. So try one more time. M. Good. So now we want a buzz to come through that. So I want you to set the M and then I want you to push air through it. If it doesn't buzz at first, that's okay. Keep trying. But this is the goal. So start with M and then air. So we'll go M. Mm. Like that. Okay. Let's try it three more times together. Ready? M. Good. Two more. M. Okay. One more before we move on. M. Good. Good. Okay. Now. To set the mouthpiece correctly, I want you to first push your second valve and then pull on this little slide here and have him let go. It might fight a little bit. If it does, you need to grease your slides. So here's what I want you to do. This is about the same size as the bowl of our mouthpiece. So this is going to be a good visual indicator to see how we're going to place the mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece on French horn, we only want one third of our bottom lip and two thirds of our top lip to be in the mouthpiece. It's more top lip than bottom lip. So here's what I want you to do. Say M and then hold up this ring on your second valve slide up to your face and see where it hits you naturally. So try it. M. And then stick your finger right where your lip line is and see where it's landing. M. That's pretty good. We don't want it right in the middle. That's, that's trumpet embouchure. We don't like trumpet players. We're different than them. So we're going to try it again. M. Yeah, about right there. That's about where we want it. So take a minute. Pause the video if you need to. And make sure that's right where yours is. So now that we've learned how to form that buzz, get that perfect M shape. We know where the mouthpiece is gonna sit. We're gonna try buzzing on our mouthpiece. So we're gonna say M, we're gonna place the mouthpiece, and then we're gonna push air behind it to create that perfect buzz. So step one, M, M. Step two, place the mouthpiece, make sure it's two thirds, one third, M. I know it's a really silly sound and it's really hilarious, but it is important to making sure we have great sound on our French horn. So let's do that three more times. Remember step one, M. Step two, place the mouthpiece correctly, angled slightly down. That's really important. And then step three, put air behind it for a really great buzz. Three times. Here we go. M. Good. Do it again. M. Okay. One more. Here we go. M. That last one is the best one. We want a nice, consistent buzz. The first two were kind of wimpy. We want a lot of air behind it. And we want really consistent sound.
friend. Last step to first sounds. We started with forming our embouchure with M. Then we worked on buzzing without the mouthpiece. Then we worked on placing the mouthpiece just perfectly. Then we buzzed on the mouthpiece. And here's the last step was we're going to buzz on the horn itself. So we're going to follow uh, four steps this time. We're going to say M. We're going to place the horn. Then we're going to take a good, deep, low breath. That's step three. And then we're going to put air behind that buzz. And that'll be step four. So again, step one, M. Step two, place the instrument, M. Take a good deep breath and then exhale. Good, so that's an E. The other sound that we wanna try for is a low C. I didn't quite hit it that time, so let's see if I can this time. It's gonna be a little bit lower. Try those four steps again. M. You hear how wavy that sound is? It's because I'm not putting enough air behind it. I'm kind of using wimpy air. So let's make sure that we're using lots of full, good air for a steady tone. And I don't even care what note comes out. Just make sure it sounds beautiful. Here we go. Same four steps. One more time. M. Terrible air. We're going to try one last time. M. Good. So wherever your sound is landing, that's perfect. We just want really, really steady tone for your first sounds. Now, to make sure that you're matching exactly which pitch you want to, check out our French horn pitch matching video on hornsupremacy.com. We also have... Uh, our fingering chart, which you can always check all of your notes on. And then we have our lip slur exercise, which is going to help build up these muscles in your embouchure. And it will also help train your ear so you can be a supreme horn player. Thanks so much. Check this out on hornsupremacy.com.